Ma'am, can we start? Sir has joined us. Uh? Oh, yes, ma'am. Anand sir has joined. Okay. And uh, Santosh sir, CSE HOD also joined, ma'am. Okay. Good evening, everyone, and a warm welcome for today's session on entrepreneurship development in competitive environment by Department of Information Technology. I request Dr. S. Jayanti, Madam, Head of the Department of Information Technology, to introduce about the today's session resource person, Dr. Anand Kumar, sir. Respected principal sir, dean sir, and HODs of various departments, faculty colleagues, and my dear students, a very good afternoon to one and all gathered here. I welcome you all to this webinar session titled Entrepreneurship Development in Competitive Environment. This webinar is being conducted as the part of Institution Innovation Council. It's a great pleasure for me to invite you um, for this webinar session. And now it's time to introduce our today's resource person, Dr. Ananda Kumar, who is working as an associate professor in the Department of Management and Commerce, DMI, St. Eugene University, Zambia. Sir has more than 15 years of experience in teaching and one year of experience in industry. He has completed his Doctorate of Philosophy in Management on Empirical Analysis of Microbrands, the study conducted in Thiruvalluvar uh, district of Tamil Nadu state in Bharatiya University, Tamil Nadu, India in the year 2015. He completed his Master of Philosophy, MPhil, in Management in Anamalai University, Tamil Nadu in the year 2007. And he also completed Master of Business Administration in Veltec Engineering College, which is affiliated to Anna University, Tamil Nadu, in the year 2005. And he completed his Master of Human Resource Management from Puducherry University in the year 2008, and Bachelor of Commerce and Education from Pope John Paul II College of Education, affiliated to Pondicherry University in the year 2002. Sir has started his career as an assistant manager in SKS Private Limited, Puducherry, India, for one year from 2004 to 2005. Then he entered into academics and started as lecturer, Department of in Business Administration, Sri Aravinder Arts and Science College, Vilipuram District, India, from 2005 to 2006. Then from July 2006 to 2008, he worked as senior lecturer and assistant placement officer in the Department of Management Studies, Milam Engineering College, which is located in Vilupuram district in India. Then he worked as a, a professor in School of Management Studies, Christ College of Engineering and Technology, Puducherry, since from 2008 to 2019. Currently, Dr. Anandukumar sir is working as an associate professor in DMI St. Eugene University, Zambia. He has published three textbooks on various uh, titles, namely Business Research Methods, International Organization, and Principles of Public Administration. He has published and presented more than 60 research papers in various reputed international journals and conferences. He has he has held very, uh, very various uh, responsible and administrative positions in the in his career as public relation officer, a placement officer, head of the department in various colleges, and chief controller of exam (COE). And sir, uh, you have um, no. We are very fortunate to have you uh, as a resource person uh, to our uh, webinar session. Uh, such a um, high profile uh, resource person. We are lucky to have you in this session. And uh, now I request Dr. Ananda Kumar to address the virtual gathering followed by the webinar talk. Okay. Uh, very good afternoon to you all. Uh, <clears throat> so, first, I just want to apologize 
for taking the webinar sections on Sunday because everybody who are busy only one day or two day are taken off their leave. So according to that, I'm also quietly to disturb in your, in your career as well as your personal work. Okay, anyway, so according to the fixations that I'm, I'm delivering of today's section. So initially, I have to give the great thanks to the management uh, people who are, who are giving me a permission to give an opportunity to um, give the great section, which the topic is entrepreneurship development. So in this competition world, right, in this environment, how we have to be faced, how we have to be fixed of our industries, that's the very great competition. That's a very, very challenge. So, so it's a quite a good topic. And I give the thanks to <coughs> Madam Jayanti Supramaniam, who are giving me an opportunity for this section. And also, I, I, I thank you all those people who are organized in this webinar section as well as and I finally, thanks to all the people who are together in this sections okay so before start of the lessons the people who may keep of their mind so the thing is this entrepreneur which is very helpful for the management or the commerce people it's completely wrong so the entrepreneur which is which is useful for all the people, all kind of the disciplines, all kind of the uh, uh, certain areas, right? So only for the commas or only for the management. Even I, I, I noted that uh, some of the CSE and EC students who are belongs here, right? So students and the faculties. So everyone who how to helpful for this entrepreneurial development. So in our studying area, so where we are going to be sustainability, right? So if I'm going for my marketing, if I'm going for the particular industries or paramedical or uh, any manufacturing industries, uh, take any computer science or software, wherever, wherever it may be, we are be an organizer, we are be a CVE, we are be a, a given of the job opportunity for other. In this case, so you have to be an entrepreneur. Then only you have the given one, a job opportunity for other. So this is what the I thing that I want to very clearly to initiate when I'm talking about the entrepreneur. So that is the two thing after your career, after your studies, right? So even your, in your master degree or the UG level, after after date of your UG or PG, you have a two options. One is you have to join of any company while working under a salary, or you have a build of any organizations. This is the two opportunity. The opportunity which is you are working under the salary. The another option is you are create the salary for others right so this is what the two things which is happen so all the times if you go and getting of salary from any organizations you are always be after 60 years or after 20 years of your services you are you are constantly stand in the particular parameter you can't go beyond that even if you take, I'll, I'll give you a small examples. If you take a top 100, a richest person of this world, that entire top 100 or 200 or 300, whoever it may be, they are not be a salaried person. They are be a CVE or one who are organizing of any organization. These are the people who may dominated of others in this world, right? So if you are under the salary, you should be constant in that particular parameter. You have to be finish of your life. If you go off your entrepreneur, you just become an entrepreneur. You just have the willing power. 
you just have to welcome of the enter opportunity you have to attain what you have to be fixed of your goal so this is what the initial startup when i'm talk about an entrepreneur so even me right then you are asking me why you are working under a particular organization that's the question as to becomes so myself i'm partly doing of my business and partly doing of my career in university working so 50 50 myself i am a uh, create an entrepreneur i am i am always be i uh, say that i am i'm i'm an entrepreneur should be make to earn more profit make myself to have a satisfaction something you have to be seeing beyond the limit of your words so that is what the words i am saying about an entrepreneur if you go for working of any company you can't fulfill of your goal you can't go on your own thought you can't what you like what you dislike you can't go along with that right everything should be directed by others not by you so when you are working of any people you have to direct it by others so this is what the thing to have options is that after finished you are you are a degree even a pg or even a ug or even if you go for the phd whatever it may be so so with that word that i have to share my slide so one minute <coughs> are you able to see my slide yes it's visible sir yes sir yes sir okay okay fine so my topic which is concerned about the entrepreneurship development in competitive world environment so what is first you have to understand what is meant by entrepreneurship right with an entrepreneur then how we have to be different factors which is influences when you are taking an entrepreneurship so how we have to be overcome this competitive environment those things that we are going to discuss of your decisions okay so so mm. okay So this is my short profile, which is already given by Madam Dr. Jainti Subramaniam. So myself, Dr. Anand Kumar. So I'm working in the Amma Sinti Jain University, which is from Zambia. So this is my mobile number. Even I have my local and the Indian number as well as my email ID. So this is what why I'm showing this means. maybe you can't asking any questions at this end of the question the end of this sections you can ask on through your whatsapp or on through your email so anywhere you can raise your queries so that is what i'm encouraging all the people to give of my <coughs> informations okay come to the point about this. so initially i'm going to start with the motivation of an entrepreneurship so this is a very important parts important words from the different uh, people right who given the important and the powerful words so what are the abdul kalam which is given by uh, confidence and hard work is the best medicine to kill the disease called failure it will make you a successful person so you are always keep when you are make an entrepreneur when you are be a entrepreneur the two things are very important on your mind so confidence and your interest of your work and the hard work right so this two things are very important of your business so even if you are facing any failure you can easily to remove and neglect right so every failure or every uh, 
discouragement. That's all our makes to mold ourselves. So which makes a people, which makes us to be a successful in business life. So this is what he has to be saying. Then I'm talking about the Satya, right? So he is a COE, Microsoft. So he given his own point, be passionate and bold. So even any anywhere, even in your business, even in your, in your working in your under, right? You should be a passionate. You should be sure of your skill, right? So don't think that this is not my like job. This is not my dislike job. Like you don't think that wherever you stand, in that place, you have to show off your passionate and bold. So always you keep whatever you are doing, that all are learning capability. In that learning capability is always make you to be a right part of your new life. So this is what we just we say by the CEO in Microsoft. Then, then I give one of the very important a uh, very famous actor in India, so Hollywood. So Anubam Kher. So he given his own points. Every individual suffers from the fear of failure, but you can change your destiny only when you overcome it. So even if you take every individual who how to if their past history. He how to face a lot of difficulties and barriers. So, so many obstacles in, in back of them, whatever the, he may, today he may success, but in back of his history, he may have a lot of obstacles. He have to be taken to overcome the over obstacles in these phases. He has to take overcome of their failure, which may to go with that success. So every individual have their own uh, failure and the success. So everything you have to be overcome. It. Then only you have to be a point of your your success. So this is what the word which is given by the Anupam. And the same Satya, right? The COE who have given their another important words. Out industry dies not as much tradition. It only respect innovation, right? So even if you are working in your organizations, in that organization, the people who doesn't bother about the tradition, what they are doing of their practices, they are all expected the innovation, innovative ideas from your side. What you are given, what you are trying to put on your own contribution to your business. That is what the important points. So even if you are doing the business, even if you have a current job, you have to insert or how to be contribute of your innovative idea, which makes the people to make a success of your business. So that has to be given by the uh, COE of Microsoft. So then this is one of the very famous, wow, very known about everybody, the Sachin, the Bansal. Right. He is a CVA of Flipkart. Maybe he is a former CVA. I think so. Okay, come to the point. Age does not matter. Even if you are old of 30 or 50 or 60, right? So age does not matter. If you have the attitude and the drive to succeed, right? So which is very clearly insisted by the Sachin, right? So what they are trying to say, attitude is very important. That attitude make to drive off your success, right? If you are made to success of a particular period, it is not the permanent success, right? So you are permanent success, which makes an attitude. That attitude make a permanent success, right? So this is what which has to be given by the Sachin, right? So, okay, is also very famous, Kumar Mangalam, Brilla. COE. So he's also given of his one important word. So you must follow your passion 
and do something that's close to your heart. So every individual have their passion. Every individual have their own dream, have own goal. So in that goal, based on that goal, they have to be work and make to mold and uh, uh, and run off their goal, right? So this is what the important things them, right? So according to your goal, you have to run with your passion, right? So what you think, what you like, which is okay, which is not okay, all based on your thoughts that what has given a positive signal that signal based on that you have to be work and give a full-fledged passionate of your work even if you are doing of any business or if you are if you are working under any organizations that all are based on your thought that thought which is concerned as a positive thought so this has to be given by the kumar mandal so with this word with this word so you you got the lot of what motivational uh, words so there's all of the positive words which has to be given by the different opinion by the different important peoples so there's all of the very very successful of their life through their business through their academy through their own path so come to the point what do you think about an entrepreneur Right. So what do you think about an entrepreneur, how it is originally to start? So when I'm talking about an entrepreneur, it is quite easy to derive a French root. So initially it has to be given the point which is very clearly to say entrepreneur. So this is a very initial meaning to undertake and is commonly used to, to describe an individual who organizes and to operate a business and a businesses or a business is taking on financial risk to do so so initially it has to be originated by the uh, a french root that we concerned as entrepreneur so this is what the initial startup of an entrepreneur come to the point about that richard which is very clearly to initially he has to be started off his own word about he is an one of a uh, very important originated about an entrepreneur, Richard. Right? So this Richard, which has very clearly to give of their own opinion about the entrepreneur definitions. An entrepreneur is a person who pay a certain price for a product to resell or, or it at and uncertain prices thereby making decisions about obtaining and using the resources while consequently admit the risk of enterprises come to the point about so who is call it as an entrepreneur right so entrepreneur which is one who is maybe an individual right he may he may producing any goods he may have given off his point to create any kind of the business in this society, right? So maybe he has one who owner of that particular company. He has is me to take a decision on his own point what he thinks, right? He is one who a creator of resources, right? So of course we are repeatedly to say that he is always be a risk taking. Uh, risk taker because so because he is a creator of a business he is taking off a business he is just investing of his own money to their business so which helps the peoples to make to give the services to the community or the society right so this is we shortly call it as entrepreneur of course, the another name, the entrepreneur is a person who start an enterprise. He searches for change and responds to it. Okay. Entrepreneur is someone who uh, perceives opportunity, organizes a resources needed for exploiting that opportunity and exploit it. Okay. Come to the point about. So I'm very clearly to point out that entrepreneur is always be an individual who start off any enterprises or the business. That is what we shortly call it as an entrepreneur. Okay, come to the point. 
right so what are the things which is very familiar to come when i am talk about the word entrepreneur so he is always looking for what kind of an opportunity which is created in a society what kind of the resources that we have to be uh, organizing we have to be creating an opportunity to the people and giving the services to the people how far he has to be make to success of their business everything which is covered in the world of an entrepreneur right so so nowadays many of the products which is day to day they are coming and going out Right. Some of the products who are success while taking to launch of their product in a marketplace, which is make to success. Some of the products which is not be a success because of their poor decision making, because they are they are lacking of their analysis. These all the things which is happen. Maybe it's all that comes under the consequences of failures or the success of their entrepreneur. Okay, come to the point about that. Right. So nowadays we have uh, n numbers of the products which is available in the marketplace. So how the entrepreneur or the businessman is always focusing how they are business which is taking to success in the marketplace. How they have to be sustainability in the marketplace. So what kind of the resources which is given to the best services to the uh, people and how he has innovatively to give their services or uh, give of their satisfaction to the people. That's all are the very important and essential points which is covered of an entrepreneur. Right? Okay. So my last point which is covered about an entrepreneur. It's a personal use initiative. Okay. And they engage in calculator risk taking to create new business ventures by raising our resources to apply innovative new ideas that solve problems meet challenges or satisfy the needs of a clear defined market come to the point about that so when i'm start of a business so i just make of my personal opinion whatever i'm start of my it's my own risk what i have given of my contribution towards my business that's all of my personal risk. So I have to be calculated when I'm, what's my level of investment? What's my level of risk taking? How far I'm getting back of my investment, that payback of period. So this is all a very important point. So as well as I have to full fledged and contribute of my skill and innovative thoughts towards my business make to challenge of my product so many my product into the different competitors who are maybe face of a competitor who are who are around in my close competitions how i am taking to satisfy the needs of the customer something like has to be very clearly to determine my strategy to the marketplace so this is a, one of the very important motto for the entrepreneur. Okay, then here I have uh, four aspects of being an entrepreneur today. So the first aspect, which is very clearly to say about a creation. So every business who have to take a part of a creation, because when you are taking to success. So without creative idea, without any creation informations towards your product, towards your business, you can't be able to sustainability. You can't be able to survive and compete with your product, competitor products. So when you are entering into a, a, a marketplace, you should know how you have to be sold. You should know how you have to be face the competitor. You should know how you have to be made to satisfy to the customers and the consumers, right? So my the second aspect, which is very clearly to say about my time and effort. So right time to deliver, right time to inform the information, right time to design of your information or the product, which are very essential of your business, right? 
so so whenever whenever you are creating of your idea that ideology when you are taking to implement to your product all are time to deliver time to design time to inform everything is very very important so if you take off an advertisement you have timely to send so you can't spend more time you can't beyond the limit you can't uh, expire of your informations to the consumers all of the wasting of time under the efforts so the concert or the terms which is concerned about the time and efforts is very important the third aspect which is concerned about the river which you concerned about the river when the consumers or the customers who are satisfied about your product that's the great reward for you right so any feedbacks that you are getting positively from the customer side or from the market side that's the reward for us that all rewards which is converting to your profit so the encouragement and the positive thoughts towards your business or towards your product which makes to create a good profit of your business so reward which is involved what the positive towards positive drive towards your product or the market right so the last aspect which is concerned that is so even any kind of the business you have to take some business risk without risk you can't be able to success of any business so however you are you are given of your important risk or the focusing of your risk which makes to give the success of your business so every part you have a risk the risk how you are going to be overcome how we are going to be overcome of your failure that's all uh, the important informations towards your thoughts about your business right so these are the very important what i said one is you have to be create or creation of your informations or create innovative ideas towards your business or the product or your services then the second one is timely you have timely you have to be give of your changes or uh, whatever the changes or whatever the information that you have to be uh, passed or uh, communicated in your proper way as a particular time and efforts is one of the impact and foremost to make to success of your business the third one is reward which means a positive signal or the positive feedbacks from the people or the from the market side the last one is risk assumptions so this is the four important aspects of an entrepreneurs today okay then talk about an a characteristics of entrepreneur so now we are overlook of your entrepreneur so what is the exact characteristics the exact characteristics so the nature which is concerned you are you are be a business you are doing some business or you are make as some entrepreneur you should be a passionate even uh, my initial uh, earlier slides what i given here so passionate of your business that make you have to be achieved right so interest and the passionate is a very important role to make to success of your business or uh, you have to be achieving of your goal so that it's concerned about your positive signal then the next point is spirit of adventure so generally generally when i am talk about a business it's quietly what i said it's drived a risk right it's drive a risk so whatever you start off your business the risk is very important part which is come along with you while while you are traveling whatever you are driving of your success so even risk is also be along with you so the next point which is concerned about the strong need to achieve and seek personal accomplishment so every entrepreneur who are consciously to understand about their goal so initially when you are start off your business you have very clearly to derive about your goal 
right? About your organization goal, about your vision missions. These three things are very important consciously to follow up of every business. So based on that goal and vision missions, you have to dry off your success or you have to be dry off your regular routine business life. So even if you are accomplished or not accomplished, right, of your achievement towards your goal, that's all of the very important part. Then the first point, fourth point is self-confidence and self-reliance. So you are the business taker, you are the risk taker, you have to investing of your money to your business, everything should all on your own risk. So in your investment, in your money, you should hold the self-confidence and self-reliance. So even if you take about the business, up and down is that, the profit and loss, which is parallelly to come, right? So one time, if you are receiving the good profit, next time you can be faced with losses. So you can't lose your self-confidence towards your business success. So all the times so you confidentially and consci con consciously to bring your business to be a successful life, right? So then be goal-oriented. So all the business which is towards their goal-oriented, right? So initially they have to be fixed off their goal based on their goal. Every individual who may work out, every individual who may travel, every individual who may strive to achieving of their goal, so the next point which is concerned about be innovative, creative, and versatile, right? So you have to contribute of your idea, which is very clearly to innovative, which is very creative, which is, makes the people to be happiness, which makes to create some more interest towards your product usage or consumptions, right? So according to that, persistent, right? So all the products should be a proper design or should be a proper frame out or created according to the consumers or the customers' thoughts. What they are thinking, based on that we are preparing, we have to be create or produce the goods and services. Right? So be hard work and generative. Right. So generally, every words which is you have to be contribute of your work consciously or constantly you have to be keep on your hard working, which make to six uh, take to success of your business. Right. So all the times you never be bored. Don't think that bored of your business or energetically you have to be make to encourage of your employee or your business employee. Uh, the staff members who are under you, right? Think always positive, right? So you should be ethically to obey, ethically to follow of your business, which makes to success. Because uh, once you lose your loyalty towards the consumer sides, so definitely you can't be able to build the last what you done of your previous success, right? So. The next one is be willing to make initiative. So generally, you know about initiative. So all the times you initiate of others or initiate yourself to make to work of your business in a successful way. Have a strong sense of commitment. So committed work is always make a perfection. Committed of your business, which makes to success of your business. So this is the word. Any doubt about any words, I can be ready to work. Any doubt? Can I move to the next? Shall I move to? OK. OK. Come to about the concept about entrepreneurships. So what do you think about the entrepreneurships? 
right? So what's the difference between the entrepreneur and entrepreneurship? Entrepreneur is an individual, talk about an individual, talk about any people. But entrepreneurship, talk about an organization, talk about your process, talk about your status of your business, right? This is what the difference is very clearly to say about the entrepreneur and the entrepreneurships. Come to the point about the entrepreneurships. It's quietly can be described as a process of action an entrepreneur undertakes to establish the enterprises. Okay, every individual who may establish their enterprises. So that we know. So entrepreneurship is always be a creative activity. So it has be a giver of their or contributing of their innovative idea, how they have to be developed to success of their business, something like as to be worse, uh, the world should become like that. Right? So the next point which is concerned about the purposeful activity of an individual or, or of group. Right, one minute. Uh, <clears throat> a group of individual undertaken to initiate and maintain an enterprises by production and the distribution of economics, good and services to generate profit. Okay, come to the point about entrepreneurships. So every individual or the group of the people who always initiating the enterprises or producing or giving of their services to the people with the good generated profit, with their services made to success of on through their satisfaction of the consumers. So this is what the words which is talk about an entrepreneurships, right? Okay. So the last two points when I'm talking about an enterprise, an enterprise is a business organization that is formed which provide goods and services, create jobs, uh, contribute to national income, exports, and cover all economic development. Of course, you are you are create the job opportunity, right? One okay. You are create the job opportunity. You are given of job opportunity for others. So you you want you are the person who are organizing the business. You are creating or formed of a business for uh, for rendering of your services on through the goods and services. So creating jobs, contributing of national income, exports, and overall economic development that you are be a one of the participator. So when you are be an entrepreneurship. You are one of the contributor of the national income as well as the, and you are the one, of, one who are building of an economy in our nations. That is what the point which is say about entrepreneurship, right? Okay, come to the point about an, a successful entrepreneurships. What do you think about the successful? So when you are be a successful, so these are the very important points. Right. Successful entrepreneurship, the key to success with entrepreneurship and innovation is moving from the invention of idea. So when you are when you are contributing of your information, that information or that idea should be innovative. That inventions which is help the people to create somewhat in, in interest, somewhat attentions, somewhat giving of that chance to of our businesses so invention of ideas is one of the important so already the products which is very successful so in the new product which is launched that product should be innovative the people who may turn to our product because it's an innovative something they are trying to use or consume they are giving a chance to utilize of our product because of that only thing is inventions of our ideas then the effective commercializations how you are make the effective commercializations maybe if i give an advertisement my advertisement should be effective so this is what uh, effective commercialization even even if you take any kind of uh, film right in that film already they are created, it's going to be released. So before that, before releasing of the film, 
they are given the wonderful advertisement so which makes to cover to success of their film in the marketplace this is what an advertisement effective commercialization the people who are very consciously to think about how we have take the necessary steps to effectively commercialization effectively to do of our, our product into a business how we are taking to converting of our business into a profit that is an effective commercializations right so the last one is which is covered the acceptance in a marketplace so you once you launch a new product or the existing product how you have to be reach among the consumers how the consumers who may accept about our product so that's all of the very important question in our businesses so you have using of important strategy or the different strategies to apply to the marketplace which make to accept of our business or the product into the market among the consumers right so acceptance right so while the initial or new product the people who never think about the product the people who doesn't know what's the exact product which is more effective um, so they don't have the descriptions any descriptions about the product because while you taking some of the strategies to communicate a proper information towards the uh, among the consumers which makes the people to have an acceptance of our product or our business or our services right so so the three important success of an entrepreneurship zone is inventions of idea effective commercializations you make to use of your strategies to make acceptance in our marketplace of our product in a marketplace so this is what the words which is comes at successful entrepreneurships right so all the times i'm using the words in innovation what do you think about innovation how i'm contributing of my innovative ideas to my business or to my product or to my services something like has to be going to talk now right innovations right so generally everybody knows using the in our general term innovation right even if you build any any houses you given of your innovative idea you have to collect lot of information from the different places and quietly to contribute in your building of your <coughs> building of your houses right so innovate you even if you start off a business you also have a chance to give of your innovative idea towards your product towards your services among the customers or the consumers right so innovation what is that something you have a creative idea something you have a new information or new ideas uh, implemented towards your product right or your businesses so what i given of the statement here innovation is the process of creating a commercialized commercial product from an inventions innovation brings something a new into being innovation uh, brings something new into use right so innovation is a key outcome firms see through entrepreneurships and is often the uh, source of a competitive success okay so innovation are uh, produced in large established firms are uh, often i refer to as a cooperative or to entrepreneurship something like has to become so okay come to the point so i'll give you one of the examples everybody knows about the geo sim right even if i am here i know about the uh, the history completely history about the geo sim right so initially when they are launch of their networks into the marketplace they are using the lot of strategies this strategies no one are not used the, in their previous industries or any other competitive industries or competition of their product industries right so that is what innovative what kind of the innovative ideas they have to be offered the free sim and the good uh, uh, 
uh, internet bundles, something like they have to be inwardly think to offer everything. But ideology, all the implementations are completely make a commercialization later on. Right? Commercializations later on. So this kind of the business people who have to offer or contribute of their innovative skills, right? to make their successful business in a marketplaces or market businesses. So this is what the information that I have given here, right? Then I go for. So of course, everybody knows about the different factors affecting entrepreneurship. So, so very, very uh, pointy to say about this seven, so many factors, which is that. So I'm specifically to short and cut of my information, very shortly because one minute, what's the time? Uh, okay, only a few minutes is that. Okay, I, I just want to finish as soon as possible. Okay, come to the point about uh, very shortly to come to cover about the factors affecting of entrepreneurships. Okay, I I given very closely to given about the seven factors, individual factors, political factor, economical, social, and technological, ecological, legal factors. So these are the very seven factors very closely to directly affect of our entrepreneurships. So very shortly to say about an individual. So individual factors which is described about an individual. What's my background of a company? What's my background of my education? What's my investment? What's my technical background? What's my occupation on my previous experiences? Everything talk about myself. So individual factors, which is quietly, that talk about the factors about an entrepreneur. So if I'm an entrepreneur, what's my experiences and educational and investment, everything should be very democratic. Okay, okay, sorry. So, it has to be talked about the demographic, about an individual, right? So individual factors. So maybe you have that well known about the previous experiences or related industries or any other. So it's quietly talked about. So based on my thought and based on my skills, based on my information, based on my individual decision making, that organization should be a factor, the direct factor. Right. Come to the point about the political. Generally, you know about the political factors. So political people or government influences or any government political parties who directly to involved in your, in your entrepreneur may be concerned about the law, may be concerned about the any taxation policies, any talk about the labor laws. So these are all of the political factor or the government direct or indirect interventions which is involved in these cases of your entrepreneur or, or, or of your enterprises, right? Even if you are belongs to entrepreneurship, right? So you have to face so many political factors towards your direct or the indirect interventions, right? So very sure. Then come to the point about the economical factor. Economic factor, what is so I'm I'm listing the lab of capital, market, and raw material. So economic in the sense of what your investment, what kind of the amount or the salary or the currencies that you have to be given of your point towards your factors. So of course, if I'm talking about the lab, right? So I'm, I'm recruiting the lab for my doing of business or producing of any goods and services in my business, everything based on my lab. Right? Capital. Capital is one of the very important investing of my initial payment or initial contribution of my businesses. Right? So it's one of the primary or the adequacy, uh, adequate sources of my, my businesses. Market. When you are entering into the market, you have to understand about. You have to contribute of your 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 amount towards your uh, research work, 
towards your market research, towards your advertisement, towards how you have to be give the different promotional ideas. So all you have to be invested all the contributions, which is partly to come to that. Even you have to be applying or contributing or purchasing of your raw material. You have to pay off your amount for your purchasing of your raw material. So these are the so labor means you have to pay the salary or recruiting the people to pay off your salary and contributing of their skills and the knowledge towards of our business productions capital it's a very important very initially to contribute of investment of their money towards their business right market generally talk about the market research or talk about the research work or maybe any intermediaries or maybe a promotional strategies that you have implemented, advertisement, the sales, everything which is covered, raw material means while you are taking to purchase your raw material, you have to be a pay of your amount, then you have to be get back of your raw material towards the producing of different goods and services in the marketplace. Come to the point about the social. What do you think about the social? So social, which means a society, social, which means a people, social, which means towards a particular community, right? So caste factor, attitude of the society, uh, the family background. So even some of the companies or the business who are taking to consciously to see or watching of their social factors. So particular culture, some of the products you may be very familiar, but particular culture, some of the products who are not much familiar. The reason is the social cultural competitions or the factors which is influences that. If I bring the Indian peoples to the particular country, so you, the Indian traditions which is not following to the particular other industries or the other other countries, because the local social cultural which is involved. So soil, which is involved. So some of the few cultures, which is involved. In these cases, the cultural, which means what? The social factors, right? So attitude, even if you go for the different countries, countries to countries, the factors of the society are different, right? So, Technology, generally you know about the technology. So previously, before COVID, in this pandemic situation, the people who doesn't know much aware about the ICT, but the people, even the school level of the student who are well aware about the ICT technology. The reason is why the technology has to be developed because of pushing of their culture pushing of their situations, pushing of their emergency pandemic situation, right? The people who have to learn this kind of the technology. So when I'm entering into a marketplace or any businesses, the technology day to day that we have to be different. The technology, something should be different, changes of their life, changes of their culture, changes of their usage or the practices of consumers. Right. So that the changes of the technology, even some of the countries who have very supported, well familiar about the technology, but some of the countries who are not much familiar about the technology. Right. So technology generally about the geographical locations, the technology factors which is highly influences or lowly influences based on the technology development. Legal factor, legal, which is also concerned about the law, consumers or discriminations or employment or, or the advertisement, whatever the law, how the law will be in interventions, how the government will be take of their constitutions towards their factor, legal factors. That's also one of the very important. Every company or any business 
or even if you are the entrepreneur even you have to be following all the rules and regulations and the system of the government that very consciously to follow up right okay okay come to the point about that so generally barriers of entrepreneurship right so barriers which means uh, many of the organizations majorly they how fix of their barriers into the particular area raw material lab machinery land and building infrastructures requirements about uh, financial barriers okay so these are the main barriers that the entrepreneurship should be entrepreneur should be faced so many of the uh, many of the organizations where this kind of the barriers which is faced very frequently right about raw material so nowadays the people who are very much struggle the people who are very much struggle to face of their barrier to face of their wrong collection of raw material right so nowadays even if you are belongs to any production process or production based of company that you are following right the company have much struggle to get back of their raw material for their production purpose is very very difficult to face the second one is labor so the managing of the labor or uh, managing of hr is quietly very much tough very much important very much uh, difficult to face to managing and make to satisfy of the labor in our company so it's quite a very difficult and challenged right so when i'm recruiting the people and making to good time and getting off the job from the labor side it's quite a very much challenge then about the machinery machinery it's a huge investment of an organization right so even 50% while you are taking to investing of your capital to towards your business the machinery is one of the very important part that you have to get a 50 percentage of <coughs> part of your investment towards your machinery purchases then land and building right so while doing of your business land and building is one of the important point periodically if you are go for the rent you have to spend a lot of money a huge money towards your land and building for rental purposes so maximum the the entrepreneurs is avoiding this kind of the rental purpose because they have to be make balances of their make balances of their businesses to avoiding unnecessary rental towards their businesses so infrastructures requirements see every day that entrepreneurs are very consciously to insist or uh, involved in concerned of infrastructures because infrastructure one of the important part right so when you are developing of your infrastructures in the necessary format which makes to increasing the standardize of your company right the last one is financial barriers so investing or uh, flow of uh, financial sources it's all uh, the important part because while you are investing of your money and given of investment towards your raw material towards your uh, semi finished course so all of the important flow process so you while you are taking to deliver of your goods and services to the marketplace you can't expect to get back of your amount immediately right so based on that you have to be sustaining of your services or production process that's the very important challenges so financial barriers so you, you can manage through the banks or the private agencies on your financial supports all of the important parts right okay come to that what i say about the barriers towards the entrepreneurship 
personal barriers so lack of lack of confidentials so one minute okay environmental barriers then the personal then societal barriers okay come to the personal so come to the personal lack of confidence right lack of uh, dependability on others lack of motivation lack of patience inability to dream uh, a sense of embarrassment okay it's talk about the barriers towards your your individual or the entrepreneur <coughs> the entrepreneur sometimes is not having a much skills towards that particular product or particular business maybe i i don't have much experience towards the particular business means how can i be able to sustain of my business towards the particular particular discipline or particular field right so self confidence and motivation myself and what i have to fix of my goal all of the important parts so it's also one of the individual it's talk about the personal of an entrepreneur so societal barriers maybe talk about any people or talk about the particular community talk about the society right so pressure from community pressure from family pressure from peer group so the societal barriers right so the barriers which is comes related of community community which means what so any kind of the people when i am taking to recruit so it's not a easy form to recruit the people when i am recruiting the place of the people right it's also not a easy form right when i am bringing to informing of my knowledge it's also not a easy form so so these are the those things which is covered okay i think so uh, okay. time up i think so okay so quietly i have okay one minute i just take to okay thank you sir Okay. So, uh, so any queries about what I dictated today or what I deliver of my message? Any queries? Please ask me now. Do you have any any queries or any feedbacks or any information that you want to clarify today? Please, please. I just note it out now. Students, if you have any queries, you can clarify, sir. then the madam the people yes, who are who are, who are <laughs> maybe they will ask later on through my whatsapp or maybe my email okay. and so. uh, you have given your contact number and mail id no sir already I, yes madam that i already sent even i shown the, my previous slide also no issue sure about that even you can you can also share if any any uh, people want to ask anything regarding that uh, entrepreneurial development even you please share my information uh, my personal profile okay let me know thanks sir on this sunday <laughs> thank you thank you thank you madam uh, uh, i'm sir. thank you ma'am students we are students i have shared the feedback link in the message so kindly share your feedbacks with the help of that link So good evening to one and all. Present here, honourable guest, Dr. Anand Kumar Sir, respected HODs, and all the participants. It is such a honour for me to get the opportunity to thank you all on behalf of IT department. I would like like to express my gratitude to the esteemed delegate, Dr. Anand Kumar Sir, of the webinar for the presence and contribution to make this webinar a great success. i extend my gratitude to our honorable guest dr anand kumar sir to take out time from his busy schedule to grace the event thank you sir for inspiring and encouraging us with your words on this special day a special thanks to our principal sir dr s srinadha reddigaru 
and Dr. Sanjeev Srivastava, Sir Dean Academics, and IIC convener Dr. Dhanshekaran Sir for providing immense support to make the webinar successful. I must thank the organizing team, volunteers for working hard for the past few days to make this webinar successful. I congratulate all the participants for their active participation. Thank you, everyone, once again for making it a great success. Thank you, sir, for your valuable time. Thank you, Madam Sangeeta. Thank you, Madam Jainti. Very much thank you for giving me an opportunity and also thanks to all the organizers who have given you a valuable inputs. And also I thanks to Dean as well as the principal of these institutions. Thank you. Thank you, sir. Thank you. Yeah, you're most welcome, madam. Thank you.